need to be up here. All right, there we go. Okay, welcome, welcome everybody to uh, Spell Strife. Let me just make my webcam a little bit bigger too. Since I am very small. And one last thing to check here. So a big thank you to uh, Ben Kaufman, the creator of Spell Strive, for sponsoring this segment of today's stream. I'm here today to show off um, this delightful Steam title, which you can get there linked in chat via XClam Spell Strive. And Spell Strive is a spelling roguelite game. The idea is that we're playing sort of a roguelite adventure, you know, a la Slay the Spire, except that instead of having a deck of cards that we fight with, we fight by spelling words out of letters. Haven't done any of Spell Strife yet. I just set up the audio and not even the video, as you saw. Oh, yeah, we need to make sure our uh, category is correct, too. Thank you. Fire Drawn, Spell Strife. I think that's right. Yes, spell strife. I think some similarity to uh, paperback adventures uh, in a few ways, but this definitely has its own twist, its own implementation, and we're going to see exactly what it is that that means. Uh, let's dive right into the tutorial, and then the game can explain some of its own mechanics to us. We'll see how that goes. Welcome to Spell Strife. Spell words using these tiles to summon monsters. The first letter of your word determines the monster's type, they say. So we have a tut. T is for terrain. Flying changes terrain based on the first letter in its word. Changes based on the first letter in its word belonging to E, F, I, or P. Default fire. Interesting. So the letters that you use also add properties. E, F, I, P. Interesting. I think my camera placement could be better. Let's try the top corner. Maybe get a little bit smaller after all. I see that I am blocking some text. Let's try up here. So what if we spell... Let's see, how many... Where do I begin spelling? Oh, down here, okay. Once you've spelled a valid word, click a glowing tile on the battlefield to summon a monster there. The longer the word, the stronger the monster. I see. Can't get into options from here. Hmm. Height. I like that. No, there's no H. Hegged. Tiny? Hey, greed, eerie, some good suggestions in here. Enticed, oh, I like enticed. Can we spell enticed? Yeah, enticed, that's a long word, so. 35 health, 11 combat power. And I think it'll tell us if we play, it might tell us the words we didn't spell. Whenever a monster deals damage to either side's back column of tiles, that side takes damage. Lower your opponent's health to zero to win. Very Yu-Gi-Oh style. Gain more MP at the beginning of our turn. You don't lose leftover MP at the end of your turn, so don't worry about using it all. It's a little unclear to me what uh, that... Don't be able to summon, right? Yeah. Monsters require MP to summon. When you can't afford any more monsters, press the end turn button and your monsters will move and attack. 
And yeah, I did I did end the first turn with it actually summoning, I just realized. Encircled was the longest word. Apparently, that we could have spelled there. So can we spell another? thing here. Or do I have to end my turn? I guess there's nowhere to summon, right? Yeah, I can't summon. We end the turn. And they move. We can click on any monster or terrain tile to view its details in the guidebook. This includes the monster preview in the bottom left. is for ice. Attacks above, below, and in front. E. It's all E's. Ejected, I like that. No, there's no D though. You can do eject. Eject is good enough. Summon. And go. Longer words make stronger monsters and use your MP more efficiently. Electric. That's the longest one there. What is e liar? I've never seen that word before. As the word gets longer, additional tiles cost less MP. Okay. Is there anything else to do? Oh, I see. Yeah, we have to kill the the full health of the thing. is for shield. Immune to ranged attacks. I missed uh, Shutcheer. Twitch chat, you should have, should have suggested to me Shutcheer. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh no, that is an M, right? Smutcheer is... is Shut your mouth. <laughs> we spell something starting with Z. I just want to know what the property is. I can see it. Zay is for zany. Z is for zany. Pulls enemies forward and creates random terrain where they were. High damage. Zerg, is that a word? I don't think so. No. Didn't think that would be qualified as a word. Zeal. With three with two E's. But Zug, no? Zest. That's a word. It's zesty. Missed zester. Monsters can't deal direct damage on their first turn out. But they can fight other monsters. 25% of your max health is what you lose. Oh wait, is the health bar the word? Yes, the health bar is the word. So... We've got one letter green indicating one-fifth of their health remains. That's spectacular. We win! This feels very Game Boy. 
Okay, so that's the basics of Spell Strive Combat. Let me just tweak a couple of things. Let's try a run of uh, Spell Strive here. Choose your class. It can be a syllabist. Choose a vowel. At least one of that vowel is in your tie pool. Every instance of that vowel in your words gives them one bonus length. It counts as two letters. And that's the only class we have unlocked. Difficulty goes up to extreme. Let's try medium to start. The syllabist. Um, give me a random vowel. For extra challenge. Next stop, the lobby. Enemy infinities. So expect to see ice enemies. We got A as our syllable. Choose a route. I see what these are. Spell no. Choose a spell to learn. Battle another word mage. This one has an icon. This one doesn't. Choose one of three letter affinities to gain. Oh, here we go. Bonus H... MP gain reward, rather. MP, not HP. Font is a little ambiguous with the pixel style, but I do like it. Let's throw bottom round. Okay. It! With two exclamation points. 20 health, 15 attack. And X is for explode. Fires a projectile dealing explosive damage in an X shape. Only the center hit can damage the back row. Hmm. So, we need to spell a word, ideally as long as possible, but also the first letter affects the properties of the thing that we create. I see we can do... Fanfare. 45 health, 13.8 attack. Its flamethrower attack can hit four tiles. What about fanfared? No? And we get two exclamation points as well. It's not clear why. Back. Oil. Negate their next move, but not attack. Oh, those are the bonuses from the A's. So each of these is adding one extra character to the length. So it's treated as a length nine name here. That's right. Okay, let's go here. And then I can summon another thing, but I don't have any mana, so I probably can't. Okay, let's end our turn. Get toasted. I like the music, though. Hey, welcome back, Zygoth. Zygoth, or Ben, is the creator here of Spell Strife, so we've got a dev in chat. Glad to have you for... Uh, you're actually just catching us at the first combat of the first run, so almost perfect timing. We just played through the tutorial. Is Yoshi... An allowed word? It's not. I didn't think so. Did not think so. Tom, thanks for gifting us up to Zygoth. To our developer here for today's game. YOLO! No, there's no L to YOLO with. Uh... 
Uh, wait, that's not how you spell that. Ascended. A is for armor. Look at those stats. 18 armor, 45 health, 27.5 damage. Reduces incoming normal type damage. Ascend Ant. Ooh, that's even better. You're right. Then they're 22, 55, 32. That is better. Oh. Ooh, that fire breath, though. Ionic. Oh, I can't spell Arizona. I don't think that's... A proper nouns shouldn't be words, anyway. So Android port is planned, but not yet uh, available on the store. That's good to know. Floozy. Floy the floozy. W is for water. Oh, I don't have enough mana. I don't think I have enough mana for that. Send return then. Okay, it doesn't look like this friendly fire. Is this V is for vampire? Heals for half of the damage it deals. Immune to mist. Apparently, vampires are immune to mist. Hole. Oh, monsters cannot stand on hole tiles unless they have flying. I see. W is for wall. Does not attack on its turn, but counterattacks. Okay. That's not actually helpful. Atom. Up and atom. Okay, our flamethrower is still doing good work here. It's going to hit three of them on its turn. The ascendant's doing okay. We can do better than that, though, right? Is Che? Che is allowed. C is for column. Attacks the entire column in front of it. Chatted. Can't get over the holes, right? Hmm. Oh. So the goal again is to get through the enemy's monsters and start damaging their health. F is for... F is for fire, not for flying. I'm not actually sure how to make flying. D is for down. E is for electric. A is for armor. Flying is with T. I don't have any T's, so I cannot confirm. Can you drop enemies in holes? Probably. Like that, edified. Fire the electric. Longest E word. Didn't miss nothing. 
Okay, I see we're now uh, damaging their health. That's good. Axe. I can just play X. That's right, X is for explode. Q is for quick. Attacks twice and moves twice. Cool. Each is for healing. Heal the frontmost ally in the same row. Mix. I missed apaxes, of course, and hoaxes. Looks like letters you don't use you get to keep. Looks like it. Okay, the electric ones can attack pretty far. Row. Father. Dad. Oh, and the flamethrower could hit multiple, uh, multiple times. That was 10 by 3 to the enemy HP. That was good. We win our first major battle. I don't know if, oh uh, yeah, our HP is preserved, so we did lose some health there. We choose a reward. Knock back one tile to the left with a cooldown of two. Show the first five letters of the best possible available word, starting with a given letter. Ooh. I don't even need chat. Or knock back one tile downward. I like the downward knocking. If there's holes, we can use this to um, send enemies flying, I don't think. I think maybe. We stall to summon healers. I don't think the healers can heal us, just the other monsters we have. Let's take the knockdown. Next stop, the library. N is for nullify. Okay, N is flying inherently. Turns tiles it steps onto into normal tiles. Cannot be knocked back. And we see the battlefield ahead of time, too. Letter affinity node. I guess take the bonuses before the fight, right? Convert one tile to broken with cooldown of three. Swap a letter tile with any other cooldown of three. Or knock back one tile down left. Give me the broken tiles. Let's find out if we can knock enemies into chasms or not. Does the game use English words slash vocab only? Yes. The earlier we take the fight, the more MP we gain from it? Yes. With the more blue stars. That's true. When you spell any word starting with F, gains two bonus length. Or G or H. Okay. F is for fire. I like the fire. Let's lock in fire. Guaranteed F A words. That's right, and they can't hurt us. Yorn! Deals a little damage to all enemies. This thing has 20 attack. Bangle! <laughs> yes, bangle! Go! Bengals? 
But did you, Twitch chat, think about fangles with two S's? Because that's the real play. Or flagstones. <laughs> oh, fangless, not fangles. That's fangless. Without fangs. And then, the, okay, that's the cost of the summon. Get fangled. Broken. <clears throat> Unless they have the flying attribute. Okay, let's find out if our spells actually work. Drag a spell icon to a target to cast it. Aha! Okay, that does work, and I'm happy about it. Let's take some more fire. Mist Fascinate. Ooh, those hurt a lot. 22 and a half attack power. You probably want something with armor. Type damage. Yeah, this is no normal type damage. <clears throat> Artifact. Yeah, we could do that, right? Which is much better because we have more bonus letters in artifacts. 20 armor, let's go. Expensive though. K is for knockback. Knocks back enemies above, on, and below the attack tile. I'm going to assume there's some other meaning to this word that I'm not aware of. Although, if we get the opportunity to spell some curses, we should probably try it at least. from me. Latin. Only we're able to summon two that time. Actually getting a little bit overwhelmed here. And these things fly, right? That's right. Let's try to get more armors in front of them. Whoa! Airways. That's a good one. Also, although it can be enough, maybe not. Yeah, 
that's promising. Wall. Wall's also pretty decent. R is for row. Attack the entire row in front of it. Spear cannot damage the back row after hitting an enemy, but beforehand... See if that'll hit their health. Can't damage the back line on the first row. Uh, on the first turn, it's here, though. Noise. Robe. Good enough. I like having types that can attack from the back line. BG, nerd. Next stop, the arena. It'll be column and healing. Column is normal type damage, I believe. And we may now choose a new route. Let's try the combat first. Although I think I want two letter affinities. <clears throat> so let's choose uh, this one. Get a bit more bonus MP. Hurt one tile to oil. Let's knock them down right. X, V, and U. I'll take U. So we gotta be careful about these column attackers. Canzona and Ka. Hmm. Oh yeah, we can uh, we can just knock these fools into. Yeah. And that definitely makes my life a lot easier. Just throwing things into pits here. Front work. Knocks enemies upwards as far as they can go. So if we summon that here, I think it kills this. Oh, we're in uh, smoke. Mist. Monsters on a mistile cannot attack. is fine. L is for lift. It can fly. And I can have it literally say lift as well. Lifts. Lazulite. Oh, that was cool. Why didn't you move? 
These have changed now. That's not good. Hmm. Of course, we could just make a new hole, right? Keep that monster trapped. Interesting, that didn't go up. Didn't play out how I thought it was going to. Quite understand how some of the monsters move. Poison got me bad there. Melee attacks and fires a projectile, both dealing poison damage. Poison's nasty. Oh, I see. Ice adds one knockback to all attacks received on this tile. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. The terrain also modifies things, of course. That makes sense. is fine. What's this? Fire deals damage. Poison halves damage dealt by monsters standing on this tile. Okay. And if we don't put something in front of the poisoner, um, then we're going to take damage. So we got to do that as well. Can't afford this, though. Dick. One word too... One letter too long as well. It's gonna be a five-letter word here. Toasted. Oh, there's no poison at all, actually. Good. Not sure I understand why they went forward two tiles. Still fine. Hatefuls. Heals the frontest ally in the same row. You'll help out uh, Fuller here. Missed habitations. My bad for not spelling habitations. And yes, it seems knocking monsters together does deal damage to them both. And yeah, I think the conveyor pushes them and then they move. It seems to be what happens here.
B is for Brute. More damage, more health. Bow. The name's Bonds. Jam Bonds. Missed Butadienes, of course. My bad for not spelling Butadienes. That just spawned. That's right. <laughs> Rustling time. We win if I just click and turn here. Yeah. GG. Row is the longest R word. <laughs> T is a good affinity. I could see E being good too. Take T. The common consonant. Next stop, the rooftop. What is this? MP gain upgrade node. More MP each turn? Yeah, give me that. Gusset. G is for ground. Break tiles and fire them at enemies. What happens if there's nothing to break? Tough. Oh yeah, that counts and I get lots of bonus letters. Although it only seems like I get two. There's only one you. Oot. Oot oot. Affinities only count if the word starts with it. Oh, I misunderstood how affinity works. Bah. We can have a faux fox. Honestly, I kind of like that. <laughs> It's a faux fox. Missed freakouts. Just uh, pass a turn here. I might get hit by Gusset. Oh, yes, it can throw the next tile. Okay, I see. Oh! We're down. All right, you're also going to go down. Throw you. Mystery. I like that. Oh, wait, no, I can't. I can do Mr. <laughs> Mr. M is for Mist. Fires a projectile that converts tiles to Mist.
Oh yeah, we can do masterful. That's a big word. Get in there, buddy. Longest M word. We got Tweedle. This has a range attack. I think we can spell something really powerful here. Still have Breakout available. Can we spell something with more than one A? That's what I want. I want to use all three of these A's if possible. Rat-a-tat! <laughs> Wait, that's a word. <laughs> that is a word. Get in there, buddy. My ratatat is in the top percentage of ratatats. Go, my furry friend. No attack for you. Why can't I spell hurted? Apparently hurted is not a word. Well, joke's on you, game, because farted it sure is. Missed fourth with. All right, we need some things that can attack the uh, the back rows in in these two columns or these two rows. D is for down, right? You shoot a projectile. Got lots of W's. A word? It's not. Do daft easily enough. Wee woo is a word, right? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Ratatat is, but not wee woo. Got a range attack. Kiki and Toke. 
Sometimes summoning two smaller monsters can be better than summoning one long word. Yodeled. He's yodeling at us. I think this is a word. need to think too hard here. Unfunded. The second end. Unfud. No L either. Did I do unified? Yeah, unified. I like unified. You're up. Missed unhitched. GG. We are winner. Run end. Our fate reached the top. Four battles fought, four all-time battles fought. So a short run, it seems. I don't know if that's a full run or a demo run or what exactly. But that is our run end screen. We can see our best words, Ascendant, Edified, Fastest, Artifact, and Masterful. That was indeed short, which means, of course, there's time to try again. Let's see if the harder difficulties are any longer. Zygoth says, after 10 battles, you unlock a new system, Letter Enchantments. There are 26 enchantments you can add to monsters during a run. The true end adds one more fight to the end, so still pretty short though, four or five fights. Not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes uh, rogue games overstay their welcome with runs that are too long. Too short can be a different problem, but it can also be a good thing. And we have a clear with syllabus on A, so let's play a different letter. Let's try O. Unlock the forbidden 27th letter. <laughs> I like that. I like that. All right, let's start a run on uh, hard and see if we can tell what's different. So our first battle, they have shield affinities. Immune to range attacks is the shield. Oh, that's a good one to be aware of, actually. Shields can block range attacks. I thought the spells were pretty powerful. Swap one vowel with any other vowel. Cooldown of one. Let's try that. Longer words or better words. Or just different vowels or something. Stirs. Interesting set of letters here. That's right. V is for vampire. J is for jelly. Blitz into two when receiving damage.
How's it going? Good news for you. Jarred. Miss J. That's right, for the jello. M for mist. I would like to misc rusks here. Sirs is. And we can swap a vowel for any other vowel. That's right. Let's think about that. Admired. That's pretty long. This is incoming normal type damage. That'll be able to block Rusks pretty much in term permanently. Could also do Armored. Doesn't seem that helpful. Admirer. Keep the D. D is what? D is for down. I don't think that's very good. Good old acetone. Well, we're gonna get burned to death, huh? Let's run the ice every turn. Yeah, it's gonna burn us to death. And these uh, row attackers are gonna be a problem. We need a different way to stop them than just blocking their hits over and over. is for oil. Converts a tile to oil. We put our own rowers. I'd like a shield. Just need a small one. I'm allowed to use C. Pretty cheap, though, to get a bit more. Summon Sir here. Again, that was short on purpose. Rotate. Her. 
What? Rotator's not a word? Come on. Potator's a word. Rotator should be a word, too. Oh, that's right. It's rotator with an O. Yes, we missed it. <laughs> and retroact. The other words. Oh, I see. They got pushed back into the rotate. And so both took bonus damage. That's kind of bad. Also, the low number of combats per run actually isn't that bad in this game because of how long each combat can potentially be. Especially if you add uh, consideration time. Each fight can be quite a long time. I've got no end. I can't do expunge. I can do expo. Janice with the prime sub and the 22 months of support. Why is O red? Because we have a bonus for O. Basically. Another armor type unit. Azure. I like that one. Azure. Ten armor. No, we need more than that. Tough shield. Almost do Apogee. Is this Boggle? Do the letters need to be adjacent? No, what matters is the beginning letter and the length of the word. Pretty much. So right now we're looking for the longest A word possible, pretty much. Augers is okay. Can we do more than six? That's 12. Probably not. A percus. Is that a word? Apparently so. was the longest day word, a percus. I'll take it. Okay, we need another shielder or something, or anything with a projectile to take care of that. E is for electric. Ew. Edgy. Exuded, I like. To evade exuded. Don't forget we can change the vowel. 
Exuded is pretty good. Let's exude over here. I wish I could knock some of them into chasms. Make our life a lot easier. Uthi. Two spelled with O's is not a word, right? No. I like toothy. Zygote. Toot. Z is for zany. Actually, if we can do a Y word, that's probably a good idea, because we can yell at all of them. Yato? No. Yote? Hmm. Yo! <laughs> Yo, what's up? Yoohoo! That's a word, right? No? Oh, come on. You're gonna be, you're gonna give me rat -a -tat, but not yoohoo? Makes me want to spell boohoo. <laughs> Yahoo. Yeah, we can spell Yahoo. I like that. Two exclamation points, even better. What are you doing, Gluey? Breaks tiles and fires up at enemies. I think you want to go down here. That was the longest Y word. I just want another unit. Put some AoE there. There's a lot going on in this battle. Both sides have lots of units here. Turning into quite a mess. F is a good idea. Beef. Beef. Boot. Booty. I like booty, using both of our O's for two exclamation points. We seem to be prevailing, although we got a new yeller on their side, too. Old yeller. Is 
Is T he allowed? <laughs> what unit is V? Vampire is for V. Vegetate. I like that. Delicious vegetatables. Right, now we're winning. Excellent. Most excellent. Gestation. Whoa. That's quite the word. I think that's our longest one yet. G is for ground. It's got a ranged attack. But you may go here. We actually took damage. I forgot about that. That's on me. No M. Can't spell edamame. I can do... Damn. Toasted. The fires are really good at hitting the back line one turn before they get there. So you want a melee unit with a fire behind them for max damage. Mana per turn, please. Alright, our second battle. Yay and Lunule. The lifter can fly, ignoring terrain. Lots of I's and L's. I can't do alliterate. I can do litter, though. Proliferate. Oh, there we go. Pro life. No, I can't do proliferate. Litholit. A book about rocks. No? Lex Lithor, no? Hmm. Lithorial. Litherite. <laughs> I like that. Litherite. <laughs> A mineral made from rocks. <laughs> Litoral? Apparently, littoral is indeed a word. What exactly it means is a little unclear. Let's put it down here, I guess.
Withhold, I like. Yeah, withhold? Wait, what? What do you mean that's not a word? Withhold has two H's. Apparently it does. Withhold it. No. Withholding. I don't have the uh, ING. Could also do withheld, but then we don't get the exclamation point. Wall is durable in counterattacks. That doesn't actually seem that helpful. Withhold E. Wait, can I do. No, it doesn't like that. Is it a ranged counterattack? I don't think so. I think it's only melee hits. Don't know for sure. Light. This is a healer. But we need something to block hits. Um, we can do armor. I think armor is a good idea. Uh, so let's turn one of these eyes into an A. Let's get rid of all these Ds. The 12 and a half. Yeah, it's good. You won't take any damage. Missed adopted. That's right, we don't take damage from the fire. K is for Canuck back. Wythe? Presumably, if I'm knocked back, um, I can't counterattack. Hmm. Wi-Fi doesn't work because it's an acronym. You need to spell the whole word wireless fireless. Of course. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. means I could do thrice, surely. No, there's no R. Twixt. Betwixt. I like twixt. 
Gotta stop the uh, boar, though. This is not gonna stop the boar. What will stop this boar? Chains to adjacent enemies. <laughs> Loungy. Ooh, and get nibbed. It's definitely not looking like a good fight so far. Epithetic. Oh, speaking of good news, actually, I am reminded that I have some keys to give away for this game to a chat. I haven't given away any yet, so why don't we do that right now while this battle is going on? Twitch chat. I'm going to start a giveaway here. If you would like a chance to earn a key for this game right here, Spell Strife, then type exclamation point enter into our chat room here, and you'll be automatically entered by our omniscient, all-seeing Twitch bot to win a copy of Spell Strife. That's right, I can do giveaway two to give away two keys. We'll do that uh, next time, since I think I already missed the window. Or can I do it at the end here? In which case, I will. What do you call a fish with no eyes? U is for up. Hmm, I'm really worried about this. Whitefish. Oh, that makes quite the wall. Problem is I can't put the wall anywhere that actually helps. So while it's a long word, it's not the right starting letter to actually help here. It's quite something. Snow Eagle, thanks for the 16 months and the prime sub. Okay, I'll have to do it at the next time then. That sounds right. Such a tanky boy. We could keep whitefish in for after accept dies, maybe. Hum. You have a standard attack, Nib? Yeah, melee attack. Huh. Uh. I can do uh with one H, but not two. Get uh in here. Go up. Interesting. Big boy.
Always for oil. Would not mind a Y. Don't have any Ys. P is for poison. Poison's good. Primer. 3020, I like that. Profiteer, we missed. Perverted. Yeah, they, they don't even counterattack successfully. Pulls enemies forward and creating random terrain where they were. Interesting. So Whitefish is actually just going to get bonked back and forth over and over again. That's not very good. Vittle, I like that. terrain. What do we need here? Something for these three rows. Fire type would be pretty welcome, actually. Missing the R to do favorite. I could do flavor. No, I'm missing the R. Boviate. <laughs> what does that even mean? But I missed Faviolate. Of course. I really like that it tells you the words you didn't spell. Really learned some weird words this way. I can spell Tailgate. <laughs> I like that. Let's do that next turn. Good. We got two ranged attackers. 20 health. Okay, let's put uh, Tailgate here. Missed Tail Light. Let's start roasting things. Block these hits. Okay, Keely is free again. Yeah, wall type did not work against uh, knockback.
Hmm. Armor 10, you have 25 damage. 20 health. I can make a slightly longer A word. Hello. Yeah, that'll do it. Cool. Whiskey. Oh, get wrecked. Duly noted. Range attack. It's the whole row. You have 12 armor. I need something to deal with that uh, armored thing. But I also need a blocker here. Remodeled. Cute. Evil doer. Evil doer is quite good. Although that does mean the zapper is going to hit me for 15. Probably shouldn't have done that. But here we are. Can't allow that to be there again. Ephemerid. Can I tape with the keyboard? I don't think so, right? No, I have to click on the letters. Is damage persistent? Yes, from battle to battle. There are, I believe, four battles per run. Although the battles are quite a long time. Got moped. Convert to mist, meaning they don't get to attack is pretty good. Or moped, you know, however you want to interpret it. What does fard mean? I don't know. Oh, the counterattack is occurs regardless of whether or not the unit in front is actually the one who did the attacking. So the fire breather attacked the wall and the wall counterattacked the unit in front of it. Interesting. Hmm. Cactus tax the entire column. Missed chocolatiers. There's a lot of C words we could have spelled, apparently. That might be the longest word we've had the opportunity to spell. I don't think I had the mana for that, though, did I? Maybe I did. See. 
Well, the wall can't attack, so whatever. Getting kind of demolished here. By ketones. Unit. I like Arboreal. Yeah, the armored units will be good against these knockbackers. Oh, they go all the way back? What? what do you mean all the way back? Lord. When does it add exclamation part marks? Those are used when we have a letter affinity here. In this case, O. Each O adds an extra one letter to the name. Time to get a shielder down. Smooth. Mist. Dematic. And smoothie, of course, smoothie. Oh, come on. <laughs> These knockbackers are really annoying. We definitely need a yeller. Or something else that can hit them from afar. C is for column. Catholicate. I like it. Also, I didn't choose a winner for our giveaway yet, Twitch chat, so it's definitely high time we did that. Last uh, call here to type exclamation point enter for your chance to win a copy of Bell Strive here. Give people one more minute here. And then I'm going to pick a winner. Right, vote is clo or uh, contest is closing now. Exclamation point giveaway. Levin Sarah, you have won the giveaway. Congratulations, Levin Sarah. Speak up if you're in chat, and I'll send you a key right away. Woo! All right, that's a spotted chat member. Excellent. Where'd you go? There you are, Whisper. Heck. Here we are. Please enjoy the Spells Drive. All right, in a little bit, we'll do another one of those. I've got a few more keys to give away. Can't actually summon any creatures because we're backed up against the corner here. Is that correct? 
Yeah, I can't actually summon any creatures right now. That's not good. Okay, not bad. Now we can summon new creatures. Or misters is not a bad idea. Memos. Can't create terrain on the conveyors, I guess. That makes sense. Well, this has turned into a bit of a hot mess. fine. Sure. Evocative was the only longer E word. We're slowly making headway here. This has definitely been a really tough battle. Knockback into myself. Get her yeller down. I do Yeti. I think Yot is better, right? Yata. That's a prefix, though, right? Yeah. Prefix is not a word. Yahoo is back, though. That'll work. Yahoo! With two exclamation points, as it should be. Finally, some damage. Motivates, I kind of like. That's a long one. 
Yeah. 15 attack power. Almost through, but there's a bit more to do. Homebrew, I kind of like. That's a healer. Need to stop this thing. He was for quick. Tax twice, moves twice. Nice cheap summon, actually. And I like, I like homebrew. Yahoo! Okay, our Boreal is going for it. Pipe. Yo yo, is that a word? It's a brand name, maybe? We don't have a second E. We got Yipe. I guess we can do this kind of Yippee. No, Yipe is allowed, but Yippee is not. So we're doing Yipe. <laughs> nice. Our Boreal has it. Owner. Correct. We win. That was quite the battle. GG. All right, Twitch chat. I am going to open another giveaway here. Let's try two this time. So, Twitch chat, now's your chance to type exclamation point enter for a chance to win a copy of this game right here, Spell Strife, where spelling equals fighting. What a game it is. Discard all letter tiles. That's kind of cool. But I want the knockback. Those seem like they're most useful to me. Use a route. Two spells and mana. Give me the spells first. Learn my lesson. Converted Tile the Mist is pretty good, too. Now have seven mana per turn. Converted Tile to Oil. Up left. Let's take the Mist conversion. Prevent enemies from attacking. Poison-type enemies are going to be pretty nasty. At least they have low health. Good luck. Game's more fun than you'd expected. It's uh, quite a time. Almeri. 
with two exclamation points. So, poison enemies, both melee attack and fire projectile. This one is scary. Does the book icon under my face do anything? That is the settings button, basically. What does Q even do? Q is good, yeah, it's quick. Which gets to move and attack twice. No T. We can do quail though. Quail is good. Eesh. Twenty attack twice. That's close to being good enough. Eesht, no. <laughs> Almost have quibble. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I can just uh, ice this fool. Actually, yeah. Let's use the spells, and we're good. So it doesn't get to attack because of the mist I made. Cowbone. Howard. Howard is pretty good. Hobbled. Even longer. Cowabunga? <laughs> Can we do. No, we can't do Cowabunga, right? No, we can't do Cowabunga. Coordinate and Cobaltine. I'll get more mana. Oh, did half damage because of the poison tile. That's right. Inaner. Katar. I like that one. Oh, really? Not a valid word. I, I know this is the name of a country, but there's also um, a wrist blade type weapon with the same name. Some dictionaries spell that with a K, though. Oh, I like that one. Ooh, that's good. Get the rotated upon. This is for explode. In an X shape. Too, actually. 
Pintar. Apparently a word. Rip. Jesus. Poison guys are so nasty. Uh, and I have no shields. Our nation. No. <laughs> Yahoo is back, of course. Get in here, Yahoo. Yahoo! I gotta block this, right? No, we can just do this. Warning! I'm in a warning. Waitering was even better. You're leaving. Boom! Get quiched! We win! All right, let's choose some winners for our giveaway. Again, last chance to type exclamation point enter before I pick two new winners here at Twitch chat to receive copies of Spell Strife. Yeah, that fight was a lot faster. That's right. That was a much faster fight. The next stop, the rooftop. Robo Poop, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Welcome, welcome. All right, I am choosing winners here. Happy 56 and Cinebus 28. Congratulations to both of you. Please enjoy your keys. There's Happy and Cinebus. Perfect. Both of you are here. Let me message you right away. Cinevis. Actually, while, uh, while the dev is here, a little bit of streamer feedback. When it comes to making games streamable, one of the most uh, helpful features is an option somewhere in the game options that toggles whether the game audio mutes when the game is not the active window. That's a super helpful option to have. That way I can click on things outside the game screen and still have the, the game music play. 
Not a huge, huge issue, mind you. And a lot of games don't have this, but it's nice to have. So this one does look tough, right? We got exploders, limes, and armor. That sounds pretty tough, actually. Let's see how it goes. More mana or an affinity? Let's take more mana. Even more mana. We get 10 per turn or something. 10 bonus per turn. Aha! Okay, well, the enemy spawning in a useless spot is not so helpful to them. And this one is also in a useless spot. Fog before a hole. So both of these are completely useless. In which case, this is not going to be so ha hard after all. Also, I can spell mystery, which is kind of cool. Except I can do better than that. Mysterious. Now that's a creature. What, so what is this word? Ek wheel? Serious Lee. Oh my god. It looped. So many letters it can't even fit. You can't not do it. We can't afford not to play that. I'll put it uh, here, I guess. Longest M word, no doubt. Good luck beating that. Boom. Joyride, I like it. for scooting or scooter. Scooch. Yes, scooch. When you want just a little bit of scotch, have some scooch. You go here. Scooched. Miss scooched and scooched. Wait, what is scooched without the T? Hello? You can't just spell words without the T. What is this word? Dig when you want to dig harder. Oh, we can do over time. That makes way more sense. I knew there had to be something that followed over. Over Tim. Just over timed and overweight. Gooded. No? Goods. Okay, that's gonna be bad, actually.
Can't do posture. Almost do post haste, but I can't. Post it is fine. Post it is fine. The poison damage should kill the armor guy easy, I think. Vodka house, missed pot houses. And post show. It split into something that fell in the hole. I like that. Good old key. Do quail. I can do quail. A lot stronger. Still has nowhere to go though. Quackish. Another range attack would be good. K is for knockback. S is for shield. Let's get fire. Fave? I can do better than Fave, surely. Bonds? Bonds is fine. Mist Fabacious. Why didn't you suggest Fabacious to a chat? I see that's beyond my price range. Jumard? Now you're just making up words. I refuse to believe that's a real word. Apparently it has to do with a rope climbing tool. <laughs> okay. Jumaring is a technique used to ascend a rope. Jumard must mean that you've done a jumaring. <laughs> Amazing. There's way too many slimes. This is out of control. Please leave. I guess if I cause enemies to collide, will this do damage? Yes, that did 8.8 .8 to both of them. That's kind of cool. P. 
just spelled Jewish. Interesting, that's not a word either. Who is though? Hmm. Uh, I want a range attacker. Justice. Ice is three. Not a range attack, though. Ground is a range attack. Gist. I think numbers will help us win here. You know the rules. Get in there, Yahoo! more than one more turn. Oof. Oh yeah, those slimes are nasty. Obscene, indeed. Question? What's your question? Oh, I see. <laughs> uh... Yes, we just turned this into a U. We got question. Twenty seven attack twice is pretty strong. Split every time they get hit? That's spooky. Very spooky. is a word, but not waha. But wawa. Yes, wawa is a word. All right, get it there, wawa. GG, got toasted. 
We win! GG! Second successful run, or mini run, whatever you want to call it, of Spell Strife. But can we wog? I doubt, I doubt we can wog. We unlocked a new class. And unlock another new class after two more battles. Best words mysteriously indeed. Okay, I wanted to try the hardest difficulty anyway, so let's try extreme with the simpleton. You can't spell words longer than length five. Words cost less to spell. So the simpleton's all about short words in large numbers. Let's see how that goes. I like that, simpleton. Rip quiche. The enemies are gonna be spelling Q, terrifying. So more about the battlefield tactics than the spelling with this character, that's right. That's right. Kindar. Spell two four letter words. How do I stop this thing? 40 health, 25 attack twice is gonna murder me. Yeah, Banshee? No, I can't spell that. <laughs> Five letters or less, please. But yes, we can we can spell Banshee, but I can't actually summon it. What about uh Beans. 26 and a half. Still dies in one turn to this thing. Bees! Not the bees. D would send it down. I can't do that. Yeah, maybe armor? And 20. Still dies in one turn. No, we can't give it enough stats to actually live. Yikes. Hmm. Knockback. That would work. Tell me I missed words that I'm not allowed to spell. Yes. To... Hmm. Yeah. Except for yeah. Oh god. <laughs> That's right, it moves three times. Terrible. Just terrible. have any M's or D's that I could use to deal with this quick thing. Spooky. Deep. But does a T actually get me what I want? I don't think so. Does ice have any properties? No.
Can't be knocked back. Hmm. Well, does 18 damage. I'll be on the poison, so he'll do half damage. Hmm. Bummer. So I think no matter what uh, we summon, it's going to get killed by the quick unit here. someone to die. I need someone to take the hit here. Although I think he's gonna... This guy will hit us, actually. Bitchiest suggested here. I like it. these cues. I think we're going to get killed here. No. Quatre. <laughs> Quatre, no. And I haven't gotten a single D. I need the D. D would be able to get rid of these things, no problem. What? Ah. Uh, ah uh is up, right? Yes. Wall is a good chance, maybe. Yeah, Wall has a half decent chance. Can't spell any longer letters. As a reminder, we're playing the simpleton character, and we can only spell words of up to five letters at most. Quakiest, are you kidding me? 50 30 on this thing? Jesus. <laughs> I can't do anything about these. They're so spooky. Really feels like I needed a spell before the first fight on this difficulty. Still no down. Also, the fact that our poison, there's poison tiles here, is just really hurting us, too. Hmm. 
nullify. Yeah, turns tiles it steps onto in nor into normal tiles. Perfect. I need that. Still think we're getting overwhelmed, though. and a half by two. We might be able to kill it in time, actually. I like that. Getting destroyed over here, though. This feels unwinnable. those projectiles. Is there anything I can do to deal 20.4 damage? Finally, we have D. Okay, sweet. Okay. Oof. That was bad. No U's, just six E's. Ugh. Hee hee. Ugh. Uh, poison's good though, right? Yeah, poison can kill stuff quickly enough. Feels. Uh, 35.2, that's good enough. Gates their next move, but not attack. Okay. Going to die to the quails. Feels like. Yeah, n none of these letters are going to save me from this. I guess we just throw something in the way.
Oh, he didn't die. Oh, shoot. Freaking hell, man. Turtle breaks the ground, yes, but it steps forward first. Oops. Hmm. Yeah, it looks pretty Jover to me. I, I don't see a way out of this. All right, just take me. I surrender. I can't handle all these keywords. GG. <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's try that one more time. Still gonna do Simpleton Extreme. I think that was the AI rolling Q that specifically killed us on that first fight. There. Let's let's see if we could do. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit better. Uh, we also need to take the affinity or spell first. I learned my lesson here. Give me knockback, specialization. That'll keep the walls away. Okay, let's fight. Nandin. So. Yeah, as a reminder, you can normally spell words that are any length, up to 16 letters in this game, but we're playing a character who is all about summoning shorter words with higher quantity. Thirty looks better. attack here. Lich. missed. The explosion is X-shaped, right? Yeah. Hmm. It seems so hard to keep your units alive with this character. Glad it's at least uh, challenging like this, though. No A's. I do have a D. Just spell down. Easy. You only have 10 health. Words.
Okay, going better. R is going to be good. anything with our shielder in the bottom there, although the exploder keeps killing whatever this is, so I gotta stop summoning there. What's the order they go in? Okay, good. None of these can do anything. for flying. Oops, that's not where I meant to summon. Oh well. Jeff. A gel has to be a G. Just there we go. Just So the ether is immune to electric? Seems like they can't be hurt by each other. D is for down. That's what it is. been useless. Oh well. No need to yell. Bye. <laughs> 
Got digs, but do you have dags? Okay, I think we're actually making progress. Damage the thingy either. Interesting. Is there any special property about these conveyors? Push leftwards at the beginning of their turn is all it says. Curious. Oh, right, because that was the first turn it was here, I think. Well, that makes sense. Managed to win the first fight on the hardest difficulty with the simpleton. Good. Please give me some spells. I need a spell right now. Up. Up looks good. Yes, streams! Yeah, in, in, immediately. This is a 10 damage to all of our units unit. Not anymore. Not anymore. What does this do? Electric. Doubles all elemental damage dealt on this tile. Okay. So we should put an electric unit on there. Yeah, lots of whys is definitely terrifying. Yard birds? What do you mean, yard birds? Spooky, he's got 55 health. Yikes. How do I deal with this? I need armor? I need armor to deal with yelling. But I have no A's. I don't think the yellers can actually hit the health bar, though. Hmm. Like Velvet Choker, but with words.
Okay, we got a C, an S. I don't think that's gonna block ranged attacks, but we'll see. Or I don't think that's gonna block the yelling, but we'll see. Oh, they are immune. Okay, good. Well, that should make things easy enough then. Uh, we don't have an A yet still. No A's. Need a ranged attacker to kill this fool. R is for row. Stinky yard birds. Which then get healed. Oh, geez. All of my units are dying if they don't start with S. And I've got to deal with nomisms. next turn? I guess so. Oh, jeez. Everyone is dying. Piss off. You didn't go up. Oh, that's right. This thing can't be moved. Never mind. All right. Well, as long as it's only wise, I think we might be okay. I do 26 damage somehow. Yeah, that is a thing, apparently. Cool. Actin. Of course, that lost my eye. Jess? <laughs> it's a name. I'll allow it. Yes, the armor takes reduced damage from the yelling. 
otherwise everything gets killed. Something to go behind the ice guide. I don't have a D, right? I have an up though. You're in again. getting yelled to death here. Seventeen held left on this. How's it going, Gek Doppy? Stream is going well enough, I suppose. We're trying out the hardest difficulty here in Spell Strive. And it is spelling disaster thus far. So we're getting yelled to death. Not even in a good way. No. Armed. Armed and dangerous. Hey, we actually hit it. All yellers always has been. How can I stop the yelling? Doesn't seem like I can, but I can at least do some damage. U is just going to get destroyed immediately. Anything that's not an A or an S just dies to being yelled at. There's an 
Okay. healing for uh, Yardbirds, who's been here the whole time. out of here. That's a better armor than my armor, unfortunately. Seltzer. They got a big shield, too. Yuck. But miserably slow process, this is. Tough. Can we not see the enemy's letters, or is it random what comes out? It's random what comes out. Clearly they didn't get this many Ys, right? You Dane. Yeah, you're allowed to spell that. Might be a shitty creature, but we'll play him anyway. Oof. Feeling like we're overwhelmed here. They summoned things that weren't yellers, and now I have no answer to the Jennies. The Jemmies? Oh God, I've been completely wiped. They only have 35 health, but I can't do anything about it. Terrible. Simply terrible. Feels like there's not much to do either. Should kill this. Your job is to just take hits. Stint. Nah, we got completely overwhelmed here. Simpleton does not seem great on high difficulties. I, I think you can just lose the last couple words off that. I, I think it's just a problem with Simpleton. We could maybe try Simpleton on a lower difficulty, but uh, I won't. I'll leave that as an exercise to the viewer. As we are rapidly approaching the end of our time here together. Overwhelmed. Slimes hit so hard, too. Jeez. 
Yeah, the upside for the simpleton seems like it's not worth the downside. I mostly agree. Let's at least look what the new class is here. Spellcaster. Reduce all spell cooldowns by one. Start with a random spell. Minus five MP gain per turn. So you get less creatures, but more spells to make up for it. Interesting, Ripnator. It seems like um, there are certain sound effects that are not affected by the sound effect volume in the settings. I think that might be what, what's going on here, that even with sound volume at zero, some sound effects are played at their default volume. Also a classic video game problem, forgetting to actually attribute sound to either of these sliders can result in a problem. But looks like a pretty promising game. That uh, Twitch chat is our first look here at Spell Strife. Uh, a big thank you to Zygoth, to Ben, for sponsoring today's stream and for creating this cool game that we got to all see. I do have one more key to give away, Twitch chat. So before we conclude our sponsored segment today, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now is your last chance to type exclamation point enter to win or for a chance to win a copy of Spell Strive, the game you saw me playing right here, right now. Don't forget, you can also get Spell Strive on Steam here at the following link. If you would like to purchase it yourself or check out the demo, which I think is free. So glad that uh, a lot of people got to see this game today. It's definitely a unique take on a combat system. And uh, I'd almost call it like a mini rogue. There's so few levels per run that it, you don't get to feel a whole lot of the creating a build kind of thing, but the combat system is quite cool. Zygoth says you can play in a browser at Spellstrife.com if you just want to see the demo. That's cool, too. So if you want to try it out yourself, Spellstrife.com. That's cool. Very, very cool. All right, I'm going to draw a winner here. Last chance to type exclamation point enter for a chance to win Spellstrife to a chat. Here goes. Our winner is... Ham guy, you have won the giveaway. Would you look at that? That's pretty cool. Cam guy DV, speak up for you. Have won. And Sir Van Buren, good to see you. Is that a heck load of waffles? It sure is. GGs. Whoa, yeah.